Hi everyone, I'm Ron Kanner and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. It was Yom Kippur 1973. The nation was fasting. Most Israelis were praying in the synagogue. It was the perfect time for Egypt and Syria to strike Israel. They had both suffered a humiliating defeat in the Six Day War. Egypt lost the entire Sinai Desert and Syria the precious Golan Heights. Today, we'll focus on one of the most amazing tank battles in history, right here on the Golan Heights. This area was strategic to Syria because they could both cut off a good amount of Israel's water supply and relentlessly bomb the Jewish nation. Ten days before Yom Kippur, on Rosh Hashanah Eve, Israeli Brigadier Commander Avigdor Ben Gal was concerned. Most of the Israeli generals felt that war was not imminent. Ben Gal, however, felt a Syrian attack would come on Yom Kippur. So on Yom Kippur, he toured the Nafakh area, the military base where my daughter served. Around 2 p.m. on the first day of the war, the Syrians began to attack from the valley of Kunetra just over the border. They made great progress battling through the upper regions of the Golan Heights. Their advanced weapons caught the Israelis by surprise. We were completely outmatched against the superior Syrian mechanized force. They had more than 50,000 men and 1,200 of the most modern tanks, whereas Israel had just a few hundred. Meanwhile, buses on the one day of the year where there was no traffic began to collect reservists. Because it was Yom Kippur, it wasn't difficult to locate soldiers, as most of them would be in their hometown. My wife was in the third grade, and she remembers that suddenly the whole sky turned black and trucks gathered all the men with taliot prayer shawls from their synagogue. She said that they went to the shelter as her mother hovered over her. It was all too terrifying. On the second and third day of the battle, Israel held off the Syrian attack. But I want to share with you what happened on the fourth day, right here in the Valley of Tears. On October 9th, the Syrians unleashed their largest artillery barrage yet, using both rockets and air power. That was to soften things up for the tanks. More than 100 were unleashed against the depleted Israeli forces. Fighting was intense all day, and Israel was taking on more and more casualties. A tank battalion commander, 29-year-old Lieutenant Colonel Avigdor Kahalani, had been called in to join the battle. His 7th battalion could see the Syrian tanks. Kahalani called for other tanks to join him in the attack. No one responded. Now, it may have been a radio frequency issue, or maybe his men were simply too exhausted and couldn't muster the emotional strength to continue. He found himself alone against several Syrian tanks. If the Syrian tanks could come up out of the valley and take that high ground, that would be it. They would have controlled the Golan Heights. His team took out one tank and then another. A third tank had Kalahani's tank in its crosshairs and Kalahani's gun jammed. However, the Syrian tanks suddenly burst into fire as other Israeli tanks, encouraged by Kalahani's courage and success, finally responded. Kalahani ordered a sergeant to move forward to block the Syrian advance, but the sergeant told him he was out of shells. Kalahani told him to go anyway, that the Syrians would not attack if they saw his tank. Kalahani continued forward. A few tanks followed him, but others were retreating. They took out two Syrian tanks, and suddenly more Israeli tanks joined him. The Syrian tanks were 900 meters away. Kalahani ordered his men only to fire on moving tanks. The Syrians unleashed a barrage. However, after the attack, Kalahani could see no Syrian tank moving forward. It was theirs to take, but for some reason they retreated. Of the 500 Syrian tanks that were lost, 260 of them were in this valley, which was renamed the Valley of Tears in honor of those Israeli soldiers who fell in battle. General Raphael Eitan told Kalahani's 7th Brigade over the radio, you have saved the people of Israel. While General Avigdor Bengal told Kalahani, you are the true savior of the people of Israel. He received Israel's highest military honor, the Medal of Valor. Be sure to go to God.tv so you never miss an episode, and you can find me at roncantor.com. Shalom from atop a former Syrian tank. 
please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to god.tv forward slash Zion.